We've got a full slate of games ahead of us for week four. Can second ranked Irmo remain undefeated against Myrtle Beach in our game of the week? Well, Football Friday starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to Football Friday. It's week four of the high school football season. I'm Rick Henley, along with Julia Westman, and we've got some titanic matchups. Oceanside Collegiate at Dutch Fork, Richland Northeast at Camden, Chapin at Somerville, and a lot more, including our game of the week. The Irmo Yellow Jackets have won 17 of their last 18 games, including a 4-0 start this season. Tonight, they look to remain perfect in 2024 as they hosted the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Irmo is number two in our Midlands top 10. These two teams met last November in the second round of the playoffs. Virginia Tech commit A.J. Brand is known for using his legs. Rushed for over 1,100 yards last year. He picks up the first down. Yellow Jackets moving the ball in the first drive. But the Seahawks defense gets to and Brand is stymied inside the five. Irmo settles for a field goal up 3-0. Great first quarter defense by the Yellow Jackets. Jaden Bryant breaks through and throttles Gibson Goodrow. Two plays later, we have our first turnover. Julian Brown tips it into the waiting hands of Jamar Grissett. He returns it in the Seahawks territory. Yellow Jackets turn it into points. Brand hands it to Brian, and nobody's going to stop him. Six more on the board. Irmo takes a 10-0 lead. And how about this for a handshake of the week nominee? Seahawks desperately needing some offense. Goodrow takes it up the middle himself. He bades a tackler before being brought down at the 50. But here comes that Irmo D. Matthew Blocker living up to his last name and swats it away. Yellow Jackets take a 24-6 lead before the break. They lay it on in the second half. Brand hands it off to Malik Miller, who breaks through the tackle on his way to the house. Irma rolls to 5-0, 38-12. Now they have a week off before region play. The Yellow Jackets start a second straight season with a 5-0 mark. It's their first season in Class 5A. They already have three wins against 5A opponents. Like we said, they get the week off before facing their first opponent within their region. We caught up with our Mo head coach Aaron Brand post game. He says they need this break before they take on Lexington. To play the non-region schedule like we've had and to finish it 5-0, and the bye week couldn't come any sooner. We're a little bit banged up. But uh, we'll take this 5-0 and start. I don't like bye weeks, but like I said, it does it does come at a good time. But I just hope we can still keep the same intensity at practice through the next two weeks that we've had up to this point. They're a well-coached team. Uh, Mickey does a good job. Uh, we were the better football team tonight. The Blythewood 